really interested. I like to start healing now because we have all been through different uh, challenges in life, but at the end of the day, we'll have to heal. So reach out to Dr. Martin. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be the next speaker. <laughs> I'm going to be the next speaker, yes. But before I speak, uh, since no one is here to introduce me, I'm going to share my bio with you and I'll come back and speak. So please enjoy. I want you, as you think about your dreams and goals, to put this down. Rise to greater heights. Rise to greater heights. Because you need to be clear about, about your career goals in order for you to gain guidance on professional development. Really, my goal as a mentor or, or, or as a coach is so simple. My goal is to study your current situation, identify limiting beliefs and other potential obstacles that you might be facing, and then design a plan of inspired action to empower you to pursue uh, success and drive sustainable. I think whosoever said that the sky is the limit was wrong. From today on, I, Dr. Riel and Kunene, believe that the sky is our point of view. Mom. So I think whosoever said that the sky is the, the limit was wrong. From today on, I, Dr. Riel and Kunene, believe that the sky is our point of view. So let's all rise to greater heights. of you so let's all rise to greater heights rise to greater heights dr nampumalelo real kunene is an international human rights policy analyst who consults on policies and procedures related to human rights compliance she is a highly sought after energetic certified lace brown international speaker this passionate leader holds a phd with a discipline in leadership and business Dr. Rial N. Kunene is the author and host to Rise to Greater Heights, a book and YouTube channel to turn your fears into greater success while seizing new opportunities. She is also a coach, mentor, and an MC, well known for encouraging many to rise from mediocrity into greatness. Her vision is not only to motivate, but also to empower audiences with a fresh perspective inspiration they require to pursue success and drive sustainable outcomes. In a seriously funny way, Dr. Kunene is an award-winning author. 10 times number one Amazon and international best-selling author, her number one best-selling book, Rise to Greater Heights, has inspired and empowered many to pursue their personal and professional passion to become go-getters. As a trainer, diplomacy protocol officer, and strategist, Rial believes that we are in full control of our choices. Her mission is to meet the needs and transform lives of her clients and her audience. She is also a true advocate for creating new policies that uphold human rights and prevent human rights violations. Dr. Kunene's purpose is to teach everyone about human rights and help organizations understand and promote human rights. Her goal is to study your current situation, identify limiting beliefs, then design a plan of inspired action to empower you to achieve specific outcomes in your life. This change maker, trailblazer, and revolutionary is pushing boundaries and creating a real change worldwide. Like a phoenix that never accepted defeat and rose from its own ashes, she wants to challenge you to unleash your greatness and rise to greater heights. Dr. Rial N. Kunene wears many hats. As a professional certified sales manager, CEO, certified travel counselor, publisher, medical aesthetician, philanthropist, and a commissioner for oaths, following her dreams gave her purpose to see her goals through and understand that she does have everything she needs to reach her full potential. Her everyday message is that your journey to be a better person starts with you. So knowing who you are to your core will make you understand that you are the only one who can accomplish your dreams. Hebrews 11, Psalms 27 and 40 keeps her to rise to greater heights. The sky is no longer the limit, but now the sky is our point of view. So let's all rise to greater heights. Kings and queens, please join me. Welcome, Dr. Rial N. Kunene. Oh, wow. 
oh, oh, oh. thank you so much, Dr. Masha, for setting the bar high for me. So I'm like, oh my goodness, am I going to be able to fit in those shoes? But you know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to try and fit in your shoes. And you've mentioned, you've shared everything about trauma. You've shared the awareness of trauma, how to release it as well as the healing. So I'm coming to you now. I'm coming to you now with human rights. What comes into your mind when you hear the word human rights? You can put in the chat box what comes into your mind when you hear the word human rights, human rights, human rights. Really, human rights are God-given fundamental rights and freedoms that are inherent to all human beings, regardless of your gender, nationality, place of residency, sex, ethnicity, re religion, or even your skin color. Human rights are not just about the law. So human rights are non-discriminatory, meaning that all human beings are entitled to them. Good people, you really don't have to see the whole staircase in life, but you need to take the first step to get to the top. As my mentor always say that you don't have to be great to get started, but you love to get started to become great in life. So get started today. My everyday book says uh, always learn to do good, seek justice, correct oppression, bring justice to the fatherless and plead the widow's cause. So get started today, learn to do good, seek justice, correct oppression and bring justice to the fatherless. It, it's high time, good people. It's high time we get more knowledge on human rights so that we'll know when our human rights have been violated because I know that we all have a voice but not everyone know, knows how to use it. So as an advocate for human rights, really, I encourage change makers and educate them on, on the issues at hand so that their voices can be, heard, can be heard too. So I work with individuals in charge, listening very closely before calling out issues that needs change. And I serve not just as a, a vocal protester, but I, all, I go one step further by encouraging these changes through education instead of merely telling government leaders why something needs fixing, which happens quite frequently. So to me, really, it was the death of George Floyd that made me to realize that we need to stand for a world where no one shall live in fear because of the color of their skin and where the criminal justice, justice system treats everyone fairly and equally. So if you remember it very well, in May 25th, 2020, George Floyd died in police custody in Minneapolis, Minnesota. This 46-year-old uh, this Black man was arrested and killed after a convenience store employee called 911 on Floyd's suspicion of passing a counterfeit $20 bill. The video that was captured by a bystander, it showed uh, George Floyd pinned face down on the ground and in handcuffs as he was pleading for help. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. And finally, he felt silent. May his soul rest in eternal peace. It is so impossible not to be outraged after watching that video of uh, the Minneapolis officer pressing his knee against Floyd's neck for a period initially reported to be eight minutes and 46 seconds. I believe that everyone is, is born free and everyone has the right to life. So no one should ever be sub subject to such unjustified violence. Hence, I am here today to educate everyone to know their human rights. Always seek passion, good people. Always seek passion. Try by all means to know uh, your human rights so that you will know what next step you, you can take when your human rights have been violated. So our organization, it fills a critical role in the society by providing valuable services that governments may not always be able to deliver. So like from poverty relief uh, to human rights advocacy, we are just a vital, uh, we are as vital for supporting the most vulnerable members of our community. We are just an integral part of our society and we are involved like globally in human rights, climate change, and humanitarian aid. And there are many ways in which we need to persuade governments to adopt human rights related policies, legislations, and some, uh, some of them it includes by providing information for the general public, public uh, through events like this, through exhibits, side events, and formal speeches, or even lobbying officials uh, during meetings and negotiations. So get more knowledge, seek passion, get, get familiar with your human rights. You know, it's so funny how my mom and dad gave me this beautiful, beautiful name, Nompumelelo. I remember when Dr. Martin yesterday, she was asking me, how do you say your name? I'm like, don't even try. 
people always butcher saying my name, so I'm okay with my middle name, with my middle name. So really, Nompumelelo, Nompumelelo in my own language, it means mother of all success. So you can see that I am wow. really, really challenged. I am so challenged to chase after success, no matter what comes my way, I am challenged because I'll have to follow my name. There is power in our names. Uh, if I may ask you, how many of you have dreams and goals that you want to achieve maybe in the next six months? I know myself, I am one of those. I want you, as you think about your dreams and goals, to put this down. Rise to greater heights. Rise to greater heights. Because you need to be clear about your career goals in order for you to gain guidance on professional development. So really, as a human rights analyst, my purpose is so simple. My purpose is to teach everyone about human rights and help many, many organizations out there to understand and promote human rights. And I also make a difference by bringing solutions and educating others because it was Barack Obama who once said, the future rewards those who press on. I don't have time to feel sorry for myself. I don't have time to complain. I'm going to press on. So let's all press on. And you know what? You, re you really don't have to be politically involved to learn about your human rights. All human beings are entitled to them and you can never ever be excluded from your own human rights. Why? I'm glad you've asked that because these are God-given fundamental rights and freedoms. They are all, uh, they are all inherent uh, true path. You are God, these are God given fundamental rights and freedoms. As flight attendants always say, that put on your oxygen mask first before you go out there and assist others. Because if you don't, you and the other person that you're trying to help could possibly go down. So put on that oxygen mask first, get familiar with your human rights. It's a wake up call, good people. It's a wake up call to know more about your human rights. It's a wake up call. But when that alarm clock goes off, Please, please don't ever hit the snooze button. Don't be like, I'll wake up in the next two minutes. I will wake up in the next four minutes. You know what? Forever is a long time. Why don't you wake up, get going and get more knowledge on human rights. Remember that a right is a freedom of some kind. It doesn't matter where we're born or what kind of family we're born into. We all have the internal recognition of the moral quality of one's motives and actions. It was Nelson Mandela who once said, to deny people their human rights is to challenge their very humanity. And trust me, this message said something within me. So I am a true advocate for creating new policies that uphold human rights and prevent human rights violations from, evening, from even happening from the first place. So what I do, I consult on policies and procedures related to uh, human rights compliance. And then I advise on best practices for implementing human rights programs. And I can also assist with all these of operations against international standards. And I do research and I can also help like draft, draft human rights related policies, uh, uh, human rights related, related policies on discrimination at workplace, harassment at workplace, diversity and inclusion, patients' rights, and, you know, and many, many more human rights related policies because I have a duty of raising awareness of people's rights and providing solutions. I believe that an essential thing in human rights is based on the principle of respect uh, for and every individual that you come across because um, what I do, I, um, uh, I, I believe that we need to raise awareness. We need to raise awareness because um, the most critical thing in our species, right, is based on moral grounds. Each, each, and every, each and every individual deserves respect, no matter who they are and what they are doing in life. They all deserve respect. You know, I so wish that you could just tell yourself that you've heard enough from Dr. Martin with the trauma uh, healing, as well as um, like, uh, you know, kind of observing exactly what trauma can do, the damage behind it. And now I'm sharing more nuggets on human rights. I so wish that you can just tell yourself that, you know what, I'll have to make a difference. The change that I want to see in this world must first begin with me. I'll have to be the change. But in order for you to make that difference, in order for you to be the change, 
You've got to be hungry. You've got to be hungry like a hungry lion in the jungle. Really, that hungry lion in the jungle, it doesn't matter what kind of animal comes his way. It, that is, it doesn't matter if you're that uh, giant elephant by the jungle or that small, small squirrel. All that hungry lion sees in front of his face is lunch. It's so funny because even with elephants, when they see a lion, what they do is that they run. It's all about the mindset. Once you believe, you become. They already told themselves that, you know what? I am a lunch to that lion. So each and every time when I see a lion, I'll have to run. I believe that's the lion mindset that we need in order for us to make a difference in this world. Because I believe that we all rise together and we rise by lifting each other up. Like uh, Dr. Martin mentioned that you, you, we are not here to step on one another. We're not here to tear anyone down, but we're here to help each other rise. Because we, if we rise together, we're gonna rise to greater heights. That's, uh, that's my belief that we are only here to fix each other's crown than tearing anyone down. We are here and we're gonna rise together to greater heights. You know, it's so funny when I was, um, when I was in the eighth grade, I was nicknamed Phoenix. I was nicknamed Phoenix after writing a composition using the idiomatic expression that says, uh, I rose from the ashes like a Phoenix bird, meaning I became successful again. So really that English teacher, she didn't know that the nickname Phoenix, it resonates with me and it also aligns with my destiny. And for those of you who don't know the Phoenix bird, the Phoenix is a Greek mythological bird believed to rise from its own ashes after being buried like hundreds of years ago. This immortal creature acquires new life by rising from the ashes of its own ancestor, which represents our capacity for vision and success. I want to encourage you, if you're watching and listening under my voice, that when your world, when your world comes crashing down, wear your scars to show how a phoenix feels like to die from inside and trust in your own capability to rise from your own ashes. Since the phoenix has to burn, experience pain, die before a, a, a resurrection from its own ashes. You know, uh, in conclusion, please write this down, write this down. Resilience to greatness resilience to greatness. And I know you've heard this before that your setback is your setup for your comeback. Your setback is your setup for your comeback. So if I can be honest with you, I don't know what, uh, what goals you've set for the next six months. I don't know what dreams you have for your own future, but here's one thing I know about you. You are destined for greatness. Inside of you, God has put seeds of excellence. Those seeds are supposed to grow and flourish. But many people have become crippled by their past encounters. And some have stepped over other people to get to the top. But I believe that God has a better plan for every one of us. Your objective is what you were designed for and the reason why you live today. With God, I believe that we are all destined for greatness as long as we follow his strategy. This is when the growth commences because discovering your gifts and following God's idea will make you understand that you have everything around you to reach your full potential. My everyday inspiration, Mr. Les Brown, he once said, if you are to die today, at this very moment, at this hour, what dreams, what ideas, what visions, what goals, what skills, what talents, and what books will die with you? And the late Dr. Miles Monroe once said, the richest place on this planet is the cemetery, because that's where all the goals, all the visions, all the skills, all the talents have been buried. Honestly, I don't know about you, but with me listening to all these messages, it just gave me sleepless, sleepless nights. And I remember very well uh, when the pandemic started, I started writing my book, Rise to Greater Heights, which is a comprehensive guide to turn your fears into greater success while seizing new opportunities. And I didn't stop there. Like I've mentioned uh, with the whole George Floyd uh, incident, I, I believe that we are all born into this world and uh, we should be treated with dignity and respect. So I believe that everyone is born free. We all have uh, human, uh, the 30 Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which are God-given fundamental rights and freedoms, because I believe that we are all equal in dignity. It doesn't matter where we're born or what kind of family we're born into. We, we, we are all equal in dignity. And you might have to ask yourself, what's holding you back from going confident in the direction of your dreams? Is it fear, mediocrity, procrastination, distraction? What's holding you back? Kings and Queens, it's so essential to assess your goals, progress, and you'll have to 
cultivate your mindset for success. If you want to succeed in life, cultivate your mindset for success. Because I believe that we can always bounce back to life because of our resilience. You can always bounce back to life and uh, rise to greater heights. And I also have a free transformation guide for you. It's available on my website, www.risetogreaterheights.com. With this uh, free transformation guide, trust me, you'll be able to explore leadership, empowerment, being purpose-driven, mentorship, coaching, resilience to greatness, mental health, emotional intelligence, and many, many more topics, including spiritual growth, as well as uh, successful parenting. Because growing up, I didn't have much in life because my father decided to have an early departure from this planet Earth. And I thank God that I missed that flight because I'm still here. I'm still sharing my story because I had everything because of my mama's love. And I love you, love you, love you so much, mom. So I think whosoever say that the sky is the limit was wrong. From today on, I, Dr. Riel and Gunene, believe that the sky is our point of view. So let's all rise to greater heights. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Martin. So at this moment, please feel free once again to remind the audience how they can reach out to you. If uh, you, you have any freebie, the books that you want to promote, any upcoming events that you want to share with the audience, the floor is yours. And uh, remember to share your final thoughts on your subject too. So the floor is yours. Thank you so much. My website is mmheartheeler.com. And I'm going to invite you all. There is such a wealth of material there. I have a live YouTube every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Pacific where we look at daily life problems, things that are occurring in the world, in our lives, ways in which we are being impacted. And then we take a look. What angelic helper can get us through this? What advice can they give us? Why did we get here? I find that it's so important to look at how we got here so that we don't end up just living our lives like crabs scuttling sideways, but we are actually able, as you have said so poignantly, to rise to greater heights. We want to keep moving forward. So it's important to look at where we are, how we got to where we are, and where we want to go. And so everyone is welcome to join me on YouTube on Tuesdays. It's 3 p.m. Pacific. You can find all that information on my website. It's Again, it's mmhearthealer.com. And everyone is welcome to join my mailing list and receive that free gift, 11 Ways We Resist Angelic Assistance. And as well... I have a spiritual community that I have created on the Patreon platform. And for $11.11 11 a month, you have access to all of the tools and the techniques that the angels have shared with me to date. They are constantly sharing new things with me, so I'm constantly adding to it. But for $11.11, 11 you can just immerse yourself in the angelic world. The counseling is a, a different setup and a different price point, but if you are just curious or just want some help, take advantage of the everything the angels have shared with me and join this spiritual community where you will get support. It's all about support. It's all about, as you said so beautifully, overcoming the fear. We have a choice every day. Are we going to live in fear and stay small? Or are we going to walk in love and be empowered? So I'm encouraging each one of us to walk in love, to be empowered, to align with the divine, and to discover who you really are, and what you are really capable of. And I guarantee absolutely everyone has brought a magnificent gift to share, and you are the only person that can share it. No one else can do what you can do. 
Oh, wow. That's your purpose. We are here for a, a purpose to fulfill our purpose. <laughs> you know, yes. else will ever do that if you don't do it. Wow. Wow. So could people go out there and reach to Dr. Martin? And um, I like the way you had the $11, 11 cents. <laughs> I'm like, it should be your angelic number. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, the angels help me in every minute of every day. And I want others to understand just how easy it is to work with them and how much just opening to their guidance will change your life. When you commit to clearing and healing your heart, now you become super powered because you have so much less baggage that you're trying to drag along. But okay, you're not there yet. At least you can get angelic assistance right where you are. And that's going to make it so much easier for you to rise to those greater heights that everyone is capable of. Oh, wow. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Martin, Dr. Martin, for your time to be with us here at Rise to Greater Heights Network. You know what? You've changed my life. And I believe that many audience out there have been really, really inspired with your message. I'll go back and watch the reply, replay over and over again until I get tired. But I doubt if I will ever, ever get tired. Aww. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for this incredible work that you're doing and for reminding people that we don't have to sit in quiet misery. Mm -hmm. And I really think that message needs to be heard again and again and again. That is not the message from the divine. That is a message from those who are lost in the ego and are walking fear-filled lives. They are trying to share that some are better than others because they're concerned that they're not enough. Yeah. But we know we're all more than enough. There is more than enough of everything for every person. Wow. And we get there faster and with more fun when we lift others up and ask them to join us than, we than when we step on others and try to do it solo. Mm, wow. So wow. Thank you for your wonderful work and for encouraging people to rise higher and to be aware and not to settle for that mediocre lifestyle. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't get comfortable in that mediocre life. We are extraordinary individuals. So yeah, absolutely. Yes. 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 And there are it's impossible for you to be a mistake. Yeah. It doesn't matter what challenge you may have brought with you into this life. Mm. You chose it because you feel like it's going to give you the most value that it possibly can. So let's learn to celebrate our challenges, to get excited by whatever limitation we may have agreed to so that we can overcome it and discover and really embrace the fullness. Mm, wow, so, wow. You know, there's a gentleman that I know and I helped him write his uh, autobiography and he has um, a very rare form of muscular dystrophy. So he is in a wheelchair, mm -hmm. but he was one of the most impressive people that I've ever met. And he said, well, you know, look at me, I've got some physical limitations, but because I was stuck in this chair, I had so much time to learn. And so I expanded my world through learning. And wow, that has always stuck with me about, hey, you know what? There is no person that is so broken that they have nothing to offer you may be able to offer whatever it is differently from me, but that is what makes this world so fabulous. So don't be afraid to share what you have from wherever it is that you're beginning. And maybe if it is, as this gentleman, something that is physical, re physically restricting, yeah. you, your physical body won't change but you can still have a fabulous impact in the world. 
There's nothing limiting your contribution. There There's no always a way you can make a difference. No limits at all. Yes, we've been called into this world to make a difference. And yeah. you mentioned that we should celebrate our failures because, you know, delays are not denials. We can fail seven times, but get back get back up on the eighth time because you've got this. You've got this. Why do you have to hang in there for, for a long time like to give up? You've got this. Wow. You know what? We're going to be here the whole day, I'm telling you. <laughs> We're going to be here the whole day. But you know what? I believe that our audience really have been really, really inspired by your message. And thank you. Thank you so much for pouring into us today for sharing more and more nuggets on like you're like just pushing me you can do this you've got this that's the message I'm getting from you you do have it and you know what hmm. let's imagine that right now you're sitting in the mud with a face full of shame you know allow that to be your hallelujah moment oh. allow that to be the time that you say I'm done. I'm not going to take this kind of abuse anymore. I'm going to get off, get up, brush myself off and say, it's time. It's time for me to go within, to clear away all of these blocks and limitations that I've allowed to get in my way. And I'm going to make a difference. Yeah. So no matter where you are, if you're in the deepest, darkest place and you have that glimmer of hope that is telling you, hey, it's time, allow that to be your hallelujah moment. You're here. You, There is nothing that is going to stop you from getting where you want to go. It's just getting to the starting gate and actually taking that first step forward. So it doesn't matter where you start. It just matters that somewhere along the way, you gave yourself permission to do it. Mm -hmm. And I didn't start from a very high level position. <laughs> I had made a big mess by the time I was ready to start over. I was on my knees. And if I can do it, you can do it. Yes, if she can do it, we can do it too. You've, you, you've shared with us that we should have that our hallelujah moment. Let's use the stumbling blocks as a ladder to our success. We shall take the baby steps in the right direction. Wow, wow, my hallelujah moment is back. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's think about this. Okay, so in a way, you are so much further ahead than the person that hasn't had challenge because you can look back and say, whoa, I'm so strong. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I know so much about what I don't want. I see all of the times that I just kept going and you really are bringing more to the situation than the person who has never experienced challenge and may be afraid of it. So- yeah. You're amazing and you're just going to get better. Let's begin there. Oh my, oh my, I'm really, really inspired. <laughs> I'm really inspired. Like the <laughs> final thoughts, they are life changing than your actual beginning. Like right now, you're like just pouring. You know what? You're like, just do it. Do it. Yeah. No one else will ever do it for you. Just do it. You've got this. The finish line is you, almost there. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. You do have it. And you can absolutely count on it, angelic support. Yeah. They will not do it for you because that would completely defeat the point of you being on the journey. Mm -hmm. But they will walk beside you every moment of the day. And they will help you choose the right path. and overcome those obstacles more easily so call on your support reach out don't be afraid nobody is alone ever yes you are never alone and uh, you know when the time is when the time is right i always say that because i'm a firm believer of god and um, the angels and jesus when the time is right god will make it happen for you sometimes uh 
you know, we just want things to be done now. And God will, will be like, hold yeah. on, your time is coming, run your own race, don't compete with anyone except yourself to compete to be a better version of yourself. But when the time is right, I will make it happen, I will make it happen for you. So <laughs> it's so amazing on how uh, these, uh, mes these messages, they connect together to just one message to encourage each, each one of us here to rise to greater heights because we shouldn't put any limits. That mediocre life, that, that procrastination that's holding you back, it's, it's high time you assess your goals and see where you are so that you are able to face your future with confidence and determination. So thank you so much, Dr. Martin, and thank you so much to our audience. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much uh, for joining us today here at Rise to